camera looking like. Yeah. So, if I will direct you, you just go under or somewhere. So, we have feeler gauge, 0 0.02 mils. It could be different size. Uh, it just depends how many clicks you will do after. For 0 0.02, I'll do two clicks to tighten one. So, to set up any units, I am not putting it upside down like um, most of the people do, like this way, because um, this cylinder holding two bearings on two sides, and uh, I don't remember, I think this one sometimes getting loose and then if you put it down the cylinder that goes down which makes uh, different readings with the filler gauge that's why I'm sitting up always in the lying down position so the firstly I come here I do two clicks back to slot bottom uh, bottom blade so and then I put pillar gauge between bottom blade and cylinder so at the moment it's going too loose so I will tighten up for one click still loose you keep going until your Feeler gauge goes through. There's a friction between. It slightly goes harder, but it was no. There's no power. So we'll change the other side and do the same. So I'm usually take a readings from the first uh, screw from the bottom blade. Same. Feel it? I'll do it. Couple of clicks. That's too tight. Let's try another, another blade. Be sure that you're right position. Just try one more click, one way or another way. So it's slightly, slightly tighter than that side. But if I do one click back, it will be too loose. So let's check again this side. Too tight. One click back. It's okay now. And double check this side. Same. If you come closer, you will hear the noise. There is a friction. So when when both sides are the same, I do two clicks on each side to tighten them up. So now we will not want to manage to put pull a uh, filler gauge between blades and uh, we can hear only slight friction between blades. It could be sometimes more sound but at the moment it's perfect. And final check. Oh, it's cutting. Good. It's a card. Is it possibly that the green paper will be worse? Well, so that's a quality card.
cut check. So the next step is check the uh, height. Make sure there is no debris at the bottom blade because uh, I could get it hard enough. Okay. It grabs from the bottom blade, and if it's any debris, it may affect your readings. And no debris on front wall or the back wall. There's also when I put filler gauge, or filler gauge, I put gauge, put on the second screw. So it's 786. It should be 8. So it's too low. So 796. We're gonna adjust this side and my dark come, come back to 8. So it's reading 7.99 and 8, what, 7.99. So let's tighten and we'll see what's happened. So always when you sit tight, when you tight screws, always have to double check the final result. So 8.02, it's a good, it could be up to 3, Hundreds of the mil different than seven ninety nine, so it's eight. So this unit is set. Let's go for the next one.